Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with some more Ben Baller Tops Chrome Baseball. Two box pick your team three this time. Remember, um, if you got at least two, it's the same two teams, one uh, one entry, four teams, two entry deal to try to win the White Sox. Remember, all card ship in this as well. So a lot of fun stuff in here. A lot of parallels. Each box doesn't have an autograph, but it's really the parallels are what we're chasing. So you have a chance to win the White Sox. I might get a Ben Baller Joe Chain. I was telling the guys earlier, man. That happens. Maybe, might, maybe stop buying from us. Might be an indication that we are not good with our money. All right, there's Aaron uh, with one entry. He got two teams. Four teams for John. Two entries. Two teams for Chris. One entry. Other Chris. Two teams. One entry. Drew. Two teams. One entry. E A. Two teams. One entry. E J. Two teams. One entry. Capola. Two teams. One entry. J G. Four teams. Two entries. And Sean with two teams, one entry. Zach with two teams, one entry. Chris P saying maybe we should do a Joe Baller chain break. I mean, that'd be pretty sick. A refractor medallion would be pretty awesome. Let's get these names in here. All right, so name on top after nine, we'll get the White Sox, five and a four. Good luck. One. Two. Aaron.org has been a little sluggish today. Three, four, five, six, seven. What did I say? Nine, eight, and ninth and final time. That short term memory loss is catching up with me. Chris Welty, there you go. Chris Dub, C Dub with the C Dubs. There you go, nice. Thanks everyone else for giving that a shot. Let's sort by column B. Let's print this baby. Let's rip it. Let's see what we got. Let's see what's been marinating inside these Ben Baller boxes. Grabbed two. They don't come in cases. We just grabbed, we got a whole stack of them loose. So let's uh, just grab two random ones from the back. Rex, you're surprised Tops never got Vegas Dave for Ginter. I don't think they want to have. Uh, I don't think they're they're in the practice of putting con men in products. Rex. Allegedly. These packs are not good. Gotta be careful with these. Wait, what, what did he get in trouble? He got in trouble for something, didn't he? I don't know if he's a con man. A tout, maybe? Maybe touting? Can't gamble anymore? Sports bet anymore? Something to do with sports betting. <laughs> also, yes, Brad, if, uh, Brad L., if, if I get a, a Ben Baller custom Joe, I, Joe chain iced up, yeah, that's probably when this show has jumped the shark. <laughs> or that I secretly won the lottery. <laughs> yeah, Brad says you, you you guys will know when I won the lottery when I'm drinking out of it. In, instead of like my my Coleman water bottle, drinking water out of there, there'll be some sort of pimp cup out there. Yeah, 
It would be diamond encrusted, <laughs> diamond encrusted Yeti, right? No, I went with Coleman. The Coleman brand is the best. Yetis, hydro flasks. No, you know who's been making water bottles longer than them? Coleman. I went with a Coleman water bottle. It's great. That's right, the same company. Yeah, made, made the coolers for the longest time. All sorts of travel and camping related supplies, outdoor goods. Maybe a Ben Baller grill. Yeah, that'd be kind of interesting, Indiana. I don't know if I'm good. I don't know if I'd go grill. I feel like I wouldn't be able to enunciate words properly as a uh, as a broadcaster. So gotta watch out for that. These cards feel different, by the way. I feel like they're almost a little bit thicker, or they're a little bit glossier. I don't know. They move more smoothly in my hands than than Topps Chrome Baseball. For whatever that's worth. Uh, there's the Pete Alonzo one per generally one per box die cut. It says one out of every twenty four packs, and there's twenty four packs in this. And that goes to John and the Met. Did I not print out my list? There we are. Break four coming up right after this. All card ship, ladies and gentlemen. That Kettle Marte will definitely ship. That's 40 out of 50. Um, schedule is in the chat, Laser. If you scroll around, Nightbot drops a schedule about every five minutes or so. Nice Kyle Lewis. And a Gavin Lux right here. An old mid-80s design. That'll be for Jorge and the Dodgers. And the M's, that'll be for John Samuelson. Nice. Jordan Alvarez. Jordan going to John Samuelson as well. Domingo Leva, 48 out of 75 for the Snakes. Coppola with the Diamondbacks, who are up 6-2 on the Angels right now in the bottom of the fourth. This is the card that always tricks me into thinking it's red. Seth Brown, 44 out of 75. Juan Soto. These almost feel a tiny bit thicker than normal chrome. That goes to the A, Sean Maddock with that one. Bryce Harper, 21 out of 75. Phillies, Aaron Clark. Lucas Giolito, 90 out of 99. Wait, Ramon, you're still here? Yeah. Oh, I thought you had left. <laughs> oh, okay, so I was like, bye. <laughs> they have spicy chicken nuggets now? Yeah, I think they just... Uh, Freddie Freeman, Drew with the braids. I gotta check that out. All right. And the second box. Jordan, what's going on? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right, Prim. Yeah, Laser, you gotta read stuff on the site for break schedules and for for reasons why things are happening. Yeah, new release day for Tops, Allen and Ginter, quirky product that people really love. We can do another one of those tonight, folks. I know it's kind of a longer break. That's the that's the drawback, but it is a lot of fun. BD was saying earlier. Uh, to Vegas Day probably broke even on those trout sales, considering legal fees. Wait, does anyone know what the uh, 
what his actual, I don't want to take the time to look that up at the moment, but what, what his legal charges were. I think something to do with sports betting. I want to say he was using other people's names. It's like some identification thing. Using other, there you go. Yeah, he was using other people's social security numbers to place bets, right? To open up betting accounts so he can bet over the limits. Because usually they only let you bet a certain amount of money at a certain limit for certain sporting events. He was trying to skirt that. How did he get a, yeah. How did he not go to jail? If it was you and me, BD, we'd be in jail. What? How, how did he skirt jail time? Who does he know? Good lawyers? Oh, okay. Well, we know Ryan H. Yeah, that's why laser. Yeah, some some, uh, some shady sports betting things, using other people's identities to place bets on his behalf. I don't think he stole identities though. I think it was like friends and other associates who were like, "Yeah, sure, go for it," <laughs> you know. But yeah, I think he used that to create different identities to try to bet over limits. Had different books around Las Vegas, and I think that's what that's what got him in in trouble. And apparently, according to BD, good lawyers. Yeah, no, I'm sure he wasn't using other people's names for free too. That's a good point, Brad. Yeah, I'm sure they had a they had a cut. It's like, yeah, Vegas Dave, you use my social to place bets. Guess what? I get X percent of the action, something like that. You know, of your winnings. Um, well, if you're going to place a certain number of bets and to cash out certain, those certain number of bets, yeah, you'll, you'll eventually need to fill out like tax related forms and stuff like that. This is at the level that, uh, you know, if you're at like professional betting level, yeah, you're going to have to at some point give up some personal information for a lot of us, for most of us betting on, on a few games here and there, most of us will not run into the, uh, most of us won't ever run into that situation. Aquino for EA, Zach Gallen for uh, Coppola, unless we hit some sort of magical parlay or something like that. But when you get to the level of Vegas, Dave, where you're betting limits on a game, you know, which could be, depending on the book, anywhere from 1,000, 10,000, 20,000, you know, like if you want to start playing with those kind of limits and stuff like that, yeah, they want to know who you are. EA with the Cubs, probably a liability thing for them and security issues as well. 10 out of 75, Whit Merrifield. Going to the Royals, that'll be for Chris P. Brian Peoples, what's up? I'd, I'd congratulate your daughters, but they, but really they did what they were supposed to do. We'll see you in round two. We'll see you there. I don't know. It's a weird season. My daughters don't feel like, I get the impression they're kind of not into it. There's Justin Dunn to 99. Like they're kind of waiting for, well, not him. He's he he balls out every day. But I feel like just in general, it seems there seems to be a little little lacklusterness here and there. That sense of urgency doesn't seem to be there the way I see with other young and hungry teams. Three out of 99. Come over to the UK. No tax on winnings. Tax on other stuff though. Right? I think that's how they get you. There you go. Speaking of the Dodgers, Bellinger's not been having a good season. Jorge with the Dodgers. Dustin May's been looking pretty good, though. My thoughts on it? I think they're great. I think it's fantastic. I would get into the next break. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Breaks four and five are available right now. Out of 25, Hanser Alberto. 
It wouldn't be on jazbeescasebreaks.com if we didn't think it was good. It's Gavin Lux, silver, or hollow, refractor, whatever you want to call it. There's Javier Baez. I think it's great collab by Tops. What a great idea. 30 out of 75. Gavin Lux, Dodgers, Jorge. Hanser Robles. Nope, Hanser Alberto. Hanser Robles to someone else. Different ball player <laughs> goes to EJ and the O's. 3 out of 25. Aquino for the Reds, EA. Nice Luis Robert for the White Sox. Chris, who won the White Sox. I'm sure these base rookies go pretty well. And that's that, ladies and gentlemen. We just got a uh, Domingo Leiva back here. Yeah, there's some Gonsolins back there, too. Those will all ship. And there you go. A nice two boxes in the books, ladies and gentlemen. That was Pick Your Team 3, Pick Your Team 4 coming up in a separate video. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for that one. Bye-bye.